Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Have a Patreon's pick with us, and it comes from Aunt Say or Aunts or Once. And so they have me reacting to Leona Lewis, which I'm really excited. The fact that I finally have Leona Lewis by herself because I did verses. So if you have not, if you have not checked out that verses of a moment like this with Kelly Clarkson and Leona Lewis, make sure you check that out and put your thoughts in. I really love the fact that a lot of the UK and national um, watchers pick Leona, and a lot of us Americans pick Kelly. So I love just I love the little you know the banter that we were having you know um, countryside. So that was kind of dope to see. Uh, but um, aunts is part of my board language Patreon tier. So if you want your one reaction from me guaranteed, make sure you check out the link below and get your request coming on in. So if you are new, welcome. Make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe. And yeah, we're gonna get into some Leona. I'm super excited. Like I said, she's such a polished. The range, the voice, just everything about her artistry. I always say she's like the last Mohicans of the divas because she definitely gives us that diva s that we love. We love that glamour. We love the camp. She's just, you know, one of the girls. So, without further ado, let's drop into it. Leona Lewis, um, take a bow. It's a live performance, so we always love Leona when she's giving us some live vocals because the mic be what? It be on. All right, let's go. This would have been a good versus for me to do. Take a bow, Rihanna versus Leona's, because I definitely not a cover. This is our own original song. Um, because of how the audio is produced, and I don't know because since this has been encoded, uh, since it's been ripped from the DVD, obviously, uh, I can't hear the lyrics per se to understand. Um, so it's a little muffled on my side. So. I will probably need to hear the studio and album album version to like give a real like good to hear like what she's um singing about besides just take a bow hey take a bow so Leona 
she now that's an ad libbing girl. She gonna ad lib, and I live for it because the girl can ad lib. So, but like other than that, um, definitely that two early you know mid two two thousand sound. So um, yeah, I, I still got my feels on it. I'm still you know. I'm not sold just yet on this song, but once again, Leona, her vo her vocals is given. Let's go. Them background singers, they is powering through this song. So I, so I'm very, I, I really want to hear the album version to see if Leona on her own stacking of her vocals, if she going just as hard as the background singers because they are blowing. Do you hear me? I right, don't go. I gotta run that. I gotta run that bridge back. That bridge, that bridge, saving this song for me. It's saving that song.
Alright. So, because I have not watched this tour, I don't know the song, um, I can't give it a fair assessment. Because even with this, I don't know, like, the set list. So, like, what came before and what's coming after. Take a bow. And the reason why I'm going around the long way of, of my of my reaction and analysis of this is um, there's something missing with this particular live performance. Like I said, I haven't heard an album version, so I would need to understand. I need to listen to it to, like, really make sense of it. But even that last bit where she was doing these ad libs, I'm just like the the band. I, I if I was like the you know um, director of music for this this for this concert and that, and that song, I would have really not. I would have lowered the the music for her to really shine and for her to really belt. In alignment, instead of just keeping the same tempo of what the song is, uh, it just did, it, it didn't serve any purpose, in my opinion. And I would love to know your opinion on. I felt like there are moments of open space that she were that because she was so focused on the choreography that she didn't um, really go into the song like she knows how to do. So it wasn't towards like the end before that little extra interlude or whatever you want to call it but when she you know went to the real when she went to her whistle register perfect but it was like before that like the 30 seconds before that which is the thing about and she like but even then just the like it it's cute but it don't tell me nothing so i guess for me it's like I was missing the emotion. I was missing. She Leona didn't emote on this song, so I would love to know your opinion. Like, from an album version, does she emote? And do you think like should she have emoted more, or like did you enjoy the visual more so than the than the the caliber of storytelling? So like, did you like the fact that she was adding choreography? That she that did, did you like that she like was a lot of marching because we clearly see Mama not a dancer. But I'm, cause I got a little tired of the little. I'm like, oh, how many times are you gonna march, girl? But once again, like, what is your aesthetic? I would love to hear your thoughts, your aesthetic on like, how did you like this performance? What did you like about it? What are some things that you would want to change if you could? Um, but yeah, for so I can't. I'm not gonna throw it up tens. I'm gonna probably give it a good eight. I'll give it a good eight, but it's not a ten for me. So, but love Leona. Fantastic vocals. Want to continue seeing more of Leona. So please get those requests in. And I want to see more Leona. And I'm going to see y'all for the next one.